The next step is to then check the tenant's details to make sure the correct tenant's details have been populated on your report. So you just click tenant's details, check the tenancy reference if you want to populate that in, the tenancy to start date, whether the management category, and then you click save and next. You can then check their name and their email address. The email address is important because if you're planning to send this report via email to them through the paperless process for them to feed back on, you need to make sure the email address is populated incorrectly so they get the report. You click save and that will get tipped off on your report. You're nearly done. You now need to do the signatures and approval step and sign off your report. So you click on signatures and approvals and it will ask you a few questions before you can submit your report. So it will say, was the tenant present during the inspection? 99.9% .9 of the time, the tenant wouldn't be present because I've not moved into the property yet when you're doing your checking report. So you mark that as no. Do you require a tenant signature for this report? Yes, you do. It's quite important to get a tenant signature so they can sign off the contents of the report and agree to what you've populated in your report. So I'll leave that as yes. If the tenant is present now, do you require their signature to confirm receipt of this report? Usually, if question one is marked as no, you can mark that one as no as well because they're not present with you. And then finally, it will say, do you want to send an electronic copy to the tenant for the paperless approval using inventory sign? And that is recommended. So that is marked as yes. So what that will do is, when the report has been submitted, the tenant will get an email of their report where they're able to provide further evidence and feedback on their checking report when they move into the property. They're not criticizing the report, they're actually adding more evidence and photos in the report in case you've missed something off. Designed to reduce disputes, so when the checkout report is done, they can't dispute anything like that when they have the opportunity to feed that at check-in. You can then populate the inspection start time, the finish time, the inspector name, so you just type in your name in there, the inspection date, and then sign it off. Once you've clicked done, you're ready to go back online and submit your report to the tenant.